guys, welcome to Chutes Online. Today I'm going to take you through the pancreas. The pancreas is both an endocrine organ, meaning it secretes its products directly into the blood. And these products happen to be insulin and glucagon. And also an exocrine organ, which means that it secretes its products via ducts. And these are digestive enzymes. And these enzymes break down protein, carbohydrates, and lipids. The pancreas is retroperitoneal and its tail lies in the spleno-renal ligament. It lies posterior to the stomach and is anterior to the left kidney the abdominal aorta and inferior vena cava. Let's take a look at the structure of the pancreas now. Here we have the head of the pancreas. Then we have the neck, then the body, and then the tail. Down here we have what is called the uncinate process. So this head and uncinate process are within the curvature of the duodenum. This edge of the body is attached to the transverse mesocolon. The tail, as mentioned before, lies within the spleno-renal ligament. Okay, here I've drawn in all the structures so we can see the relationships of the pancreas. You can see that the head and uncinate process are within the curvature of the duodenum. Here we have the superior mesenteric vein and the superior mesenteric artery, and you can see that they're passing in front of the uncinate process of the pancreas. Moving on, we can see the aorta here with its right and left crura and the median arcuate ligament. So that's just coming down through the diaphragm there. And here we have the inferior vena cava. So we can see that the pancreas is in front of these two structures. Here we have the kidney, the left kidney. And we can see that the pancreas also lies in front of this. And the tail of the pancreas 
is here within the splenorenal ligament. Let's take a look at the duct system. Here we have lobar ducts draining into the main pancreatic duct, which drains into the greater duodenal papilla. Coming off the main pancreatic duct is the accessory pancreatic duct, which is a variation, so it's not found in everyone. And this drains into the lesser duodenal papilla, which is found above the greater duodenal papilla. Coming in here, we have the bile duct, which runs behind the accessory pancreatic duct. And this runs into the greater duodenal papilla. Sometimes the main pancreatic duct and the bile duct can come together, forming the hepatopancreatic ampulla. This ampulla then drains into the greater duodenal papilla. So we have our, our main pancreatic duct. We have an accessory pancreatic duct. and a bile duct. We have our greater duodenal papilla and our lesser duodenal papilla and also The hepato pancreatic ampulla. These ducts are mainly towards the posterior of the pancreas, so you need to do a dissection in order to reveal them. We'll just finish up with the blood supply of the pancreas. Here we have the abdominal aorta coming through the diaphragm. and the celiac trunk. Here's our left gastric artery, our splenic artery, and our common hepatic artery. First branch of the common hepatic artery is the gastroduodenal artery. This artery branches into the superior and inferior pancreatic or duodenal artery. The inferior pancreaticoduodenal artery anastomoses with the superior mesenteric artery. You can also see that the superior and inferior pancreaticoduodenal arteries anastomose with each other. Both of these arteries supply the head and the uncinate process of the pancreas. Pancreatic branches of the splenic artery supply the neck, body, and tail of the pancreas. Lastly, we'll do the drainage of the pancreas. So we have our portal vein, 
a splenic vein. And our superior mesenteric vein. This drains the uncinate process in the head of the pancreas. The portal vein drains the head of the pancreas. And the splenic vein drains the neck the body and the tail of the pancreas. And that about wraps it up for the pancreas. Thanks for watching guys, I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. Make sure you visit our website or subscribe if you want to learn more about the human body. Thanks and I'll see you soon.